Y'all get ready? Yes, you get oh, ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. What everybody's doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Well, once again, it looks like everybody's favorite culture vulture, Kim Kardashian has been caught stealing again, okay? If it's not her, it's Kylie. If it's not Kylie, it's Chloe. They're always stealing some shit, okay? Anyhow, what's going down is this. Basically, there's a jewelry designer. Her name is Tanya Henry. She's saying that Kim Kardashian stole her photographer who shot the photographs of these lip plates that she does. She makes these like really pretty rhinestone lip rings and lip plates and just, you know, just stuff for the lips, okay? Her jewelry's really pretty. It's really centric, you know, really glamorous. So I guess Kim Kardashian needed some inspiration and she decided to basically bite off of Tanya to promote her new KKW lip gloss or lipstick or just whatever the hell she's promoting this damn week, okay? Kim Kardashian's hands is in every damn thing. So once Tanya seen the damn photo shoot, when I tell you she drugged Kim and the damn photographer for the filth, okay? Go ahead and check out this post that she made on Instagram and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the video of her going off on her Instagram live. Go ahead and check this out. So Tanya says, shout out to at Kim Kardashian and at Marcus Shade for completely jacking not only my concept, but my lip place too. Crazy part is at Marcus Shade was my friend before he started working with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian and shot Lace by Tanya countless times. But because he got a check out of this, he says it's not his problem. Kim, you've pulled my products and you could have again for this shoot. Your whole family has worn Lace by Tanya. You guys know who I am. You know my shit, but pretend you don't. I said hi to Kanye face to face four days ago. You guys are trash. <laughs> All right, so f it, you know, f it. I'm always on live anyway, so this is what we're about to do. I'm gonna tell y'all the story so you guys know why the f I'm tripping out. First off, Marcus Hyde was a friend of mine. He's been a friend of friend of mine for five to six years now. He's Charlotte Spitanea. He knows me. He's been to my crib. I know his girl. You know, there's history. We know what the f is going on. He started working with Kim and Kanye. Cool, whatever. Amazing. Congratulations. I even texted congratulations. Now, here we are, a year later. I'm scrolling through Twitter, and I'm like, damn, why is Kim posting my, my lips? Like, why is she posting my pictures? It's amazing. I realize it's a ad for her new lipstick. Okay, dope. Not only did you steal my concept, you had replicas made of my copyrighted designs, and you use a photographer that I've known for years. And he says it's all good because he got paid and he didn't know what was going on. It's crazy, you didn't know what was going on. You've known me for so long and you didn't realize that what you were shooting is an exact f copy of my concept and of my designs that I've had out for two years. F out of here. You guys steal so much especially from black designers and it is crazy it is at a point obviously at a point where i'm mad <laughs> you've done it to my friends and you've done it to me you guys know who the i am kylie's worn my chloe's worn my courtney's asked for my kendall's worn my kanye you know who i am you see me when when i see you you say hi to me you come up to me and you say hi to me Okay, you guys know what the f is good. You could have hit me up. You could have hit me up. D Danielle, your stylist, I know her. I know all of you guys. I know your whole crew. You guys know me. Don't f play me. It's so whack. Really? Like you couldn't have just hit me up and ask for my f At least I would have been flattered. Like f they hit me up to like use my might have like knocked off my whole concept in photo shoot but at least they used my i would have been okay with that right 
I'm sorry I look I look nasty as now I was working, but yo, y'all really y'all are really on some shit. You are really on some shit. It's crazy because people look up to you guys. It's wild. People look up to you guys and you guys are fing frauds. Frauds. It's ridiculous. You guys do it a lot. It doesn't make any sense. Why not just give credit where it's due? You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard. It's really not. You guys know how to f how to f get a hold of me. You know. You guys can play and act like you don't know me, but I know that you do. Don't play it. Don't play that card. <laughs> Y'all better hit me up and apologize or something. Because those designs are copyrighted. And that photo shoot causes confusion with consumers. And I got lawyers on deck. And I know y'all got money, but I have a lot of proof. And I don't like you guys. And I will go hard. You guys are whack. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard Tanya go the fuck off, okay, on Kim Kardashian. She had no chill and she had absolutely no filter. Now, I'm going to say this, okay? First and foremost, is Kim Kardashian wrong? Yes. This is not the first time her and her clan have been accused of stealing stuff from, you know, lesser known designers and, you know, black, you know, up and coming clothing designers. They literally watch everything that's going down on social media. And because they have this international following, they jump on it and try and act like it's their own. OK, they were even accused by Prada of stealing some stuff from them. Fragrance lines have sued Kim Kardashian. People have come after Kylie Jenner. And my issue is this, okay? For years, people known that these women steal stuff. They steal concepts. They steal designs. But because they are the Kardashians and they're the it girls, people let this shit ride, okay? I'm wondering where all of this vocalness was, Miss Tanya. And not to, you know, shade her. When Kim Kardashian was stealing from... Other people, as shortly as last year, she was accused of stealing stuff. This has happened time and time again, and everybody's silent. Because as long as you're in Kim's good graces and she's not doing it to you, it's all good. But then as soon as it gets done to that person, now they're in their feelings, now they're upset. How about when somebody first comes out? How about when a designer, especially somebody who's not verified, especially somebody who's put their blood, sweat, and tears into their clothing line, into their jewelry line, into whatever comes out and says, look, this bigger person is stealing from me. They're taking my concepts. They're taking my design. They're not crediting me. How about all the people who do have a voice in the industry come together and rally for the little guys? Because had you spoken up a year ago when the little guys were calling out Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner for all their fuck shit and all the stealing that they do, they would have known not to fuck with your design. You get what I'm saying? So sometimes when we sit idly by and we watch other people struggle and we watch other people's fight and we're like, oh, well, ain't got nothing to do with me. Ain't got nothing to do with me. And then fast forward, not even a year later, they're doing the same shit to you that they were doing to somebody else. This is why people need to stick together and stop acting like the Kardashian and the Jenner clans are gods. They're not. They're regular, smuggler, everyday people. The only difference between them is their popularity and their bank account. But right is right and wrong is wrong. And the truth is the truth no matter who tells it. So I really wish that Tanya and Prada and all these other people would have been this vocal, you know what I'm saying, when other smaller designers were coming out and saying, hey, you know, I'm a little guy over here. The Kardashians are stealing from me. Nobody's hearing my voice. The only person who's ever spoken for those little guys has been people like myself and other YouTubers who have called out the fuckery, who have said, you know what, look, they're stealing from this smaller designer. They're stealing from these other people. And so when I see that, I'm going to call it out. Just like when I see them taken from Tanya, I'm going to call out the bullshit. But at what point in time, when, when do we start taking personal responsibility as designers and creative people and saying that if we see somebody doing some fraudulent shit in the industry, we all band together and call them out? 
It shouldn't just be me and other YouTubers calling them out. It should also be people who are in the industry saying, no, that's wrong. But a lot of people won't call out the fuck shit. Why? Because they're not creative. They're still in shit too. They're still in concepts from social media as well. And it's not just jewelry. It's not just clothing. It's not just makeup. It's everything, even commentary. I can't tell you how many, you know, big mainstream people stay in my analytics, watching all the stuff I put together, watching my videos, taking notes, taking my jokes, taking my shit verbatim, and then feeding it to Wendy, feeding it to people at Revolt TV, feeding it to the Breakfast Club, and then you'll hear my words regurgitated out their mouth. All of a sudden, everybody's here for it, huh? All of a sudden. You know, so I, I understand the frustration. You know what I'm saying? I understand it very well. You know, and what, what happened to Tanya is definitely unfortunate. But what I'm saying is that at what time are people going to get tired and speak out? She's speaking out now, but I really wish with her having those industry connects, I really wish she had spoke out a year ago, a year and a half ago, when those smaller designers were saying the same thing. Because there's definitely powers in numbers. And when people with a voice, when people who are verified, when people in the industry start speaking out against the fuck shit, guess what? The fuck shit slows down, okay? It took for people speaking out in the industry to start that Me Too movement to get people like Harvey Weinstein the fuck out of there. So again, we have to speak out when people are being done wrong, regardless of if they're little or if they're not verified or if they're not popular or they're just some little whack little YouTuber. You have to stand up for what's right, you know, and Kim Kardashian, you're wrong. You know what I'm saying? You had no business, you know, taking this woman's concept and not crediting her. You know what I mean? That's not okay. You guys are so highly blessed. You guys can literally take a rock, sprinkle some glitter on it and be like, oh, this is a new Kardashian paperweight and people will buy it just because you guys are who you are. So there's no need to steal concepts. People who steal concepts and ideas are people who are not creative. So they have to take from other people. People who are creative come up with their own style. They put in their own work. They come up with their own designs, their own style, their own work. They have work ethic. They put in the work, you know what I'm saying? They grind from the top up. They don't just see somebody coming up, take their shit and run with it. And there's a lot of that mess going on in the industry, okay? It's not just commentary. It's not just, you know, lip plates. It's not just makeup, it, you know, everything. Rap songs, rap lyrics. So you have to be very, very careful and make sure everything you do, especially if you're trying to get into the industry, everything is trademarked, everything is copywritten because people are fake as hell. And if they can use you to get in, you know what I'm saying, see what you're working on, see what you're creating, they will take that same shit that you've been busting your ass to create and then run with it and go give it to somebody who has a bigger name or a bigger platform, just like her photographer friend played her. Her photographer friend was working with her from day one to help her shoot these concepts and then turned around because he was getting a check to go do the same thing with Kim Kardashian. Now, I understand getting your bag, sir, but at what point in time does integrity come into play? And that's the problem with folks nowadays. It's just about rubbing shoulders with the rich and famous, trying to be in the in crowd. It's not about integrity anymore. So what happened to Tanya Henry is definitely unfortunate, but I hope that more people speak out when it happens to other people, not just themselves. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the thieving-ass Kardashian-Jenner clan, okay? Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey. All right, deuces. Messy! <laughs> Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.